Hello all. As many are aware, after 31st August, the OET writing subtest is getting updated. Now, in this video, we are going to discuss what are the new changes and how is it going to be different from the old version. So, how is the writing test going to be updated? The updation is going to come in the assessment criteria. So previously there were five criteria and now they have updated into six. Now is it going to be difficult? Now we'll just see. So the first thing in the new according to the new updation is you will need to give more importance to the purpose. So they are going to particularly look at the purpose of your writing. We'll be explaining this in detail. And there is only a minor sample answer changes which you will have to include in your writing. The difficulty level of the writing subtest remains the same. How the preparation has to be done also remains the same. But the criteria based writing should be seen in your answer sheet. So what are the six assessment criteria? Now the first criteria is purpose. You will have to mention clearly what is the purpose of writing the letter in the first introductory paragraph itself. So that it will be very brief to the point and a person who reads the letter immediately understands why you are writing the letter so that they can act accordingly. So that is the first thing the purpose. Now the second is the content. Now content should be according to whom you are writing to. So that is why we say know the reader or know the audience. Whom are you writing to? So according to the person to whom you are writing, select relevant data, be accurate and do not add anything extra so that you don't divert from the purpose. The third criteria is conciseness and clarity. As you know, the hospital is a very busy place and the health professionals do not have time adequately to sit and read a letter. So it has to be brief and the letter has to be clear. And for you to score high in your FOIL letter, you are supposed to be adding only the relevant data. And remember to avoid unnecessary details and avoid explaining the key information in a complicated manner so it has to be simple so that the person understands it faster now the fourth criteria is gender and style now the style of the letter should be completely polite and in a formal tone so avoid your own interpretations simple explanation is the best so you will be able to score high in your letter with this the fifth criteria is the organization and layout. The data given in the case note has to be properly read. Select only the relevant information. Place it in a possible or proper logical manner so that the reader understands it better. So the layout is very much important. Now the last criteria is the language. So in a language, the language used should be proper. The punctuations, your vocabulary, your spelling everything counts now these has to be proper so how to score high in your oet writing subtest with a new updated assessment criteria you can always check the sample answers in the oet official website page they have already updated it you can read those letters with the present case notes you can practice writing with the updated criteria get corrections from experts so that your writing becomes better so thank you for watching the video